Hey, this is Cody from InfamousMusician.com. In this video, I wanted to show you how you can set up Studio One to change Amplitude's presets automatically using automation. It's not too hard to do, but you do need to set up a few things to do this. Um, first, I just want to show you how I have it set up and how it works first, and then I'll show you how you can set it up. So, um, in this song, I just recorded a basic guitar riff and put it on this track then I threw Amplitude on here and I set up a few presets and then if you, I switch over to automation um, by going over here you can see there's an automation line and then there's a few points here at this point in the song is where uh, Amplitude's presets will change so let me show you that Once it hits that point, you can see that Amplitude changes automatically. I didn't press anything or do anything. It just changes because it reads this um, automation and it just changes at that point in the song. Even if I click over here when the song's not playing, it'll change back. And if I click over here, it changes to this preset. So this isn't too hard to set up and this would be great for anyone who wants to use Amplitude Live and you don't want to use a MIDI foot controller to change your channels. You'd have to set this up uh, <clears throat> beforehand and you'd have to play to a click and you'd have to um, play to the exact tempo of the song and then program the changes where they're supposed to happen otherwise if you don't um, and you don't play to the click uh, these presets are going to be changing at you know out of sync um, so you need to do that or if you can also use this in the recording situation um, instead of having multiple uh, inserts of Amplitude on different tracks for different sounds like one's clean and then another track is distorted you could set up automation and just have one insert of Amplitude on a track and then set up the automation to change the preset in Amplitude at certain points in the song so this would help you out if you're running an older computer and you can't run that many instances of Amplitude, otherwise your computer will start slowing down or whatever. So it's not hard, not hard to do. Um, let me show you how to set it up. So the first thing you're going to do is open up a new project and open up a new song in Studio One. Um, when you create a new song, this pop-up will come up. You can name your song, set the sample rate and resolution. But the biggest thing here when you're using Amplitude Live to change your presets is or even in a recorded situation is you want to get your exact um, BPM of the song you want to have your tempo set otherwise it's if it's off or you're not playing to the click or whatever it's gonna be firing out of sync so that's the most important thing so once you have that set you can go ahead and say okay and then you'll need to create a new guitar track and to do that you can just uh, hit T on your keyboard or press this plus sign over here to add in track and then a pop-up box will come up and you can name your track I just named it GTR for guitar then you would select audio and then you would uh, select the input that your guitar is going into and then you'd say okay and then you'd come over here if this I already have this up but if it's not up you can hit browse and then start to search for Amplitude and the important thing is here if you've installed multiple versions of Amplitude say you installed the VST3 and the VST2 versions for this to work you need to use the VST2 version so make sure you select that and then drag it over to the track and then once you have Amplitude dragged over onto the track you would set up your presets how you want them and then save them. Um, Amplitude comes with already a bunch of uh, already set presets so I'm just going to use those for this tutorial. But once you have those set up you come over down here to the MIDI button and click that a pop-up will come up. You can see I already have some set up but you would need to set the preset that you set up to a program change value and this ranges from zero to 127 so you can have pretty much 128 different presets that you could change to using this um, and to set a preset to each channel or each uh, value you just double click on one of these boxes and then select the preset that you want to use 
So I just assign this clean preset to zero and this crunch preset to one. And then you'd say OK. And then, um, you know, you could just arm your track if you're going to play your guitar, you know, live. But I'm just going to use the uh, track I set up before um, for demonstration purposes. And then you can just hear that this is, when I turn off amplitude, that this is a clean guitar. Dirty because I act to pick up some of my uh, guitar, but then when I turn that back on, you can hear amplitude going. Then you need to set up your automation for your track. So to do that, you need to bring up the automation view. So you can hit A on your keyboard, or come over here and see this little squiggly line. You can click that, and then the automation for the track will show. There's none set, so it's not showing on the actual track, but this uh, option will pop up. Um, then you click this drop down and then you need to add the parameter for the program change so You hit you come to that drop down and you hit add and then you come over into this right box and Then drill down Go to inserts amplitude MIDI Select the channel that you're using. I'm using channel 1 and then hit program change and then add it as soon as you do that this will change up here and you'll see a line for the automation for the program change. So I hit close and then you need to hit um, put the points on this automation line where you want the uh, track to change to the preset. Um, I want to do it right here so I'm going to zoom in just using the scroll wheel on my mouse and add these dots. You just click on this line and I'll add these pr uh, automation points and I actually want those a little closer together so let me do that and I want this kind of closer to where I want that change to happen and then this is kind of where things get confusing because in Amplitube if I bring this back up and go back here you can remember when I said these range from 0 to 127. In Studio One, um, the program change values range from 1 to 128. Um, this is kind of just set by the manufacturer. It, it can either be 0 to 127 or 1 to 128. And it's, there's just that mismatch, unfortunately. So um, when you set these automation points they're going to be off by one so zero in amplitude would be one in studio one one in amplitude would be two in um, studio one so i had those set to zero and one in amplitude so i want this side to be um that first preset which was set to zero so i need that to be set at one and then when this preset change happens that needs to be two because it was one in amplitude so as soon as I set that that'll pretty much be it you want to make sure this says read over here but once it hits that point in the song it'll change so we'll just test that out if I bring the window back up So it's not too hard to set up. That's all you need to do. Um, let's close that real quick. You know, you can mess around with where these are. You'll always need two lines because you or two points because you need this one to be set at the previous preset and then this one set at the following preset. And oops, um, you want these to be kind of close together just to make it easier and make sure it's working right. Um, so that went back down to this. Too. Um, but yeah, you can set that up for as many times as you want to change your preset in a song. Maybe, you know, you'd have two here. Say this is a verse and this is a chorus. So you'd have two here going into the chorus. And then when the chorus ends, you put another two here and put um, the program change value of two on that side and then one on this side. And then it would go back into that verse. Um, 
guitar part uh, in Amplitude. So you could set that up however many times as you want. And then you could use that, you know, like I said, in a recording situation to save on CPU, or you can use it in a live situation so you don't have to use a MIDI foot controller, or just so you don't have to like worry about hitting the foot switch on stage, which is kind of like, you know, if you miss, if you miss it in a certain part of the song because you're on the other side of the stage and your foot pedal is on the other side, and then you miss that switch, you know, it's just you don't have to worry about running across the stage to hit that. Um, so that just makes things less worrisome and you can just focus on playing guitar. So that's why I like to use it and that's how you can use it if you want. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to, subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm going to be throwing up another video um, how, on how you can set up Amplitude to change with a MIDI foot controller if you do want to go that route. But also to have Amplitude change the uh, channel on the MIDI foot controller. So you, it will change the preset and the channel on the MIDI foot controller at the same time. But you could also use the MIDI foot controller to change the preset in Amplitude. So it kind of goes both ways, but you also have that kind of backup plan. So look out for that. If you like the channel, subscribe. I also wrote a whole blog post on this. I'll put a link in the video, which you can go check out on infamousmusician.com, but I'll throw a link. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's how you set it up. And thanks for watching.